welcome students to the MOOCs lecture series on phase sets, arithmetic and logic. This is lecture number 24 and in this lecture we shall look at truth values of a fuzzy proposition. Recall that in the last class we discussed multi-valued logic and we have seen that linguistic hedges are often used to alter the truth value of a fuzzy proposition. However, sometimes we may confuse with the intended meaning for example consider not tall Does it mean short perhaps not in fact if somebody is considered not tall by that we may mean he is rather tall or fairly tall thus this complement need not be 1 minus s this is more clear if we consider not very tall does it mean very short surely not Ideally, we should have some standard linguistic hedge to describe all this. qualified propositions
but perhaps there does not exist any consensus. Within the above limitation, we shall discuss truth values of a fuzzy proposition. In today's discussion, we shall not consider fuzzy quantifiers therefore we get the following four kinds of fuzzy propositions. Our aim is to obtain techniques to assign truth values to them. Now, the four types of fuzzy propositions are unconditional and unqualified. Example, today is hot, hot is a fuzzy term, therefore, this is a fuzzy proposition. It is unconditional because it is not constrained by any condition like if something happens then today is hot. Similarly, the statement is unqualified. That means that we are not assigning any fuzzy truth value to the statement itself. Similarly, we can have say something like John is very tall. This box is heavy. These are all propositions of the type unconditional and unqualified. The second types are unconditional and qualified. Say for example, today is hot is true or John is very tall is rather true 
or this box is heavy is not true. Thus, we can see that on one hand we have a fuzzy statement and then we have a qualifier which qualifies the truth value of the entire statement. The third type is conditional and unqualified examples. If the course is difficult, then results are poor. If the temperature is hot, then speed of fan should be high. As you can understand that, these are conditional, because the overall truth value of the statement depends upon the condition given in the form of if then. And the fourth types are conditional and qualified. For example, if the course is difficult, then the results are poor is very true or if the temperature is high, then speed of fan should be high. is more or less true. So, these are the statements of the type conditional and qualified. The question is how do we assign truth values to different types of fuzzy propositions. So, let me start with the simplest one, unconditional and unqualified. The general structure or the general form of these statements is P is of the form V is F, where V is a variable
that takes values from a set. For example, if V is temperature, then it may take values in the range, say, 0 to 40. 8 degree Celsius in our context. Similarly, if V is tall, it may sorry, if V is height it may take values say in the interval five feet to six and half feet. Now one point has to be noted. When we say say John is tall, the variable is not John, rather we refer to the height of the person John. Similarly, if the statement is today is hot, we mean the temperature of today is high. Therefore, when we want to assign the truth value of a fuzzy proposition, we need to look at the membership of the value v of v in the set f. So, consider the statement J 
John is tall. Let us call it P. P is the proposition. John is tall. We want to assign truth value to P, that is, we want to compute P, P, that is, truth value of the statement or of the proposition P. Now, suppose height of John is five feet eight inches and Suppose we define a fuzzy set tall on the set of real numbers that give the height of human beings. So, as per the problem Suppose we assign the membership to the set tall as follows. At five feet, it is zero. At five feet, ten inches, it is one, and from there, it remains one. And between five feet to five feet ten, it grows linearly like this. Then mu tall of five feet eight inches is equal to and we know that it is going to be zero point eight. Therefore, if P is equal to John is tall, then truth value of P is equal to truth value of John is tall is equal to truth value of height of John. is tall as we have discussed some time back when we are talking about tallness we are actually looking at the attribute height of the person concerned is equal to truth value of height of John is tall is equal to truth value of 5 feet 8 inches 
is tall is equal to truth value of mu tall 5 feet 8 inches is equal to truth value of 0 0.8. Now, if we interpret T as a fuzzy set on 0, 1 and the membership to T is T of P is equal to P, then T of 0 0.8 is equal to 0 0.8 or the truth value of the above proposition is 0 0.8. Therefore, for unconditional and unqualified fuzzy propositions, of the form P is equal to V is F, then for a given value V of V, T P is actually equal to mu f of v. In a similar way, if we want the truth value for the proposition John is very tall, then T of P is equal to mu very tall of 5 feet 8 inches is equal to mu tall of 5 feet 8 inches square is equal to 0 0.8 square is equal to 0 0.64. Let us now look at statements of the form unconditional and qualified. Typical form of such propositions is P is equal to V is F 
is S. For example, today is hot, is very true. Thus, we have two fuzzy terms, one is hot, one is very true and we need membership functions for both the sets. Suppose we assign membership values to hot as follows. At 0 degree, it is 0. Up to 20 degree, it is 0. Between 20 to say 35 degree, it grows linearly. I am keeping the functions linear to keep the computation simple. If the membership is not linear, you have to look at the membership value accordingly. And suppose today's temperature is 30 degrees, then mu hot of 30. From this diagram, we can say it is going to be two by three is equal to zero point six. Now, for true, we typically use the following membership. function this goes linearly from 0 to 1 in the set 0 to 1 so this is the membership for true therefore very true is going to be something like the square of this and this is going to be very true and in a similar way by taking square root we get the membership for something which is a dilation say fairly true. In a similar way, the 
the fuzzy set membership for false is given as at 0 it is 1 and at 1 it is 0 and we get a straight line like this. So, this is going to be false. Therefore, by taking square, we get the, the membership to the concentrator very false and by considering square root, we get the membership for fairly false. As I have discussed, there can be other concentrators and there can be other dilators also, but for this class we are using alpha square for concentration and square root of alpha for dilation. Another form of qualifier is likely which may have the following type of membership at 0 0.5 it is 0. So, as we grow from 0 0.5 to 1 if we keep it linear we get something and from 0 0.5 to 0 it is something like this this is called likely and this is unlikely and we can also use concentration here very likely and very unlikely. So, this allows us to give membership to different qualifiers. With that background, now let us look at the original problem. Our statement was today is hot is very true. So, if we look at the original problem, we find that if today's temperature is 30 degree, its membership is 2 by 3, which is, is equal to point six seven. Therefore, to obtain the truth value for P is equal to V is F is S we first compute mu f of v and then we look at its membership to s. 
therefore, T p is equal to T today is hot is very true is equal to mu very true of today is hot is equal to mu very true of mu hot of temperature for today is equal to mu very true of mu hot of 30 degree is equal to mu very true of 2 by 3 is equal to mu true of 2 by 3 whole square is equal to 2 by 3 whole square is equal to 4 by 9 is equal to 0 0.44 approximately. In this way, we can get the truth value of unconditional and qualified statement. Let us now consider conditional and unqualified statements. For illustration, consider if the effort is hard, then result is good. Thus, it is a conditional statement because the result is good, this phrase, its truth value depends upon the conditional statement, the effort is hard. Question is, how to assign truth values to such propositions. So, suppose the fuzzy set hard with respect to effort is expressed with the value of number of hours spent. Say for example, suppose hard is defined as follows. Z 
0 0.1 for 1 hour of effort, 0 0.2 for 2 hours of effort plus 1 for 10 hours of effort. And suppose goodness of result is computed on the basis of marks. And we use the following mu good of x is equal to zero if x less than equal to fifty or x greater than 100 and it is x minus 50 upon 50 for 50 less than equal to x less than equal to 100. That is, if someone gets 85 marks, then mu good of 85 is equal to 35 upon 50 is equal to 0 0.7. Thus, we need to associate two fuzzy sets, because the canonical form for conditional and unqualified propositions is P is if x is a then y is b where x takes values from a set V and A is a fuzzy set defined over V and Y takes values from a set W and B is the fuzzy set defined over W. So, with respect to our example, X is effort which takes values number of hours from 0 to 10 and A is the fuzzy set defined on this which are calling at V such that 
mu a of a is equal to a by 10 and similarly we had y is equal to result takes values in 50 to 100 which is our w and mu b of b is equal to b minus 50 upon 50 when 50 less than equal to b less than equal to 100. Therefore, in this setup to obtain the truth value for p, we proceed as follows. Given the value of a and b, we associate a with b using implication because if a then b implies that a implies b. Now, for implication, we may use Lukasiewicz scheme, which says A implies B is equal to minimum of 1 comma 1 minus A plus B. So, suppose number of hours spent is 8. Therefore, mu hard of effort is equal to 0 0.8 and suppose marks obtained is 85. Therefore, mu good of 85 is equal to 0 0.7. We need to associate these two a is equal to 0 0.8 and b is equal to 0 0.7 through Lukasiewicz and we get I A comma B is equal to I 0 0.8 comma 0 0.7 is equal to minimum of 1 comma 1 minus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.7 is equal to 0 0.9, where I means implication through Lukasiewicz.
Thus, T p when effort is equal to 8 hours and max is equal to 85 is 0 0.9. The fourth type of propositions is conditional and qualified. Say, for example, if effort is hard, then result is good is very true, then, then proceeding as before, we shall get zero point nine for if effort is hard then max is good or result is good. Now, we have to look at this qualifier and for that what we will do, therefore, T p is going to be mu very true of 0 0.9 is equal to mu true of 0 0.9 square is equal to 0 0.81. Okay, friends, I stop here today. In the next class, I shall look at phasic implication and I look at how to handle them for reasoning with phasic statements. Thank you.